friends on this channel, just remember I usually post some math videos of a more advanced nature. We have a nice limit question here as x approaches 0 sine 2x over x cubed plus a over x squared plus b. So we want to find the values of a and b in some fashion. How can we do that? Well, first let's just combine into a single expression. So we're going to have sine 2x plus, let's see, ax plus bx cubed over x cubed, okay? And this is equal to 1. So I just took b multiplied by x cubed over x cubed. I took a multiplied by x over x where to get an x cubed. Okay, so now we have this. What can we do with this? We got to somehow get A and B. Well, take a look at something here. If you just plug in directly, you would have sine of 2 times 0, so direct substitution, and then A times 0 plus B times 0 cubed, like that, correct? And then you'd have divide this by 0 cubed. Hmm. Well, this would give us 0 over 0. That's definitely an indeterminate kind of form, 0 over 0. So, in other words, what we can do is just differentiate. Correct? So limit as x approaches 0. And then type in there. So 2 cosine 2x by the chain rule on the first one plus just a, because the x goes away, plus 3bx squared. And in the bottom by L'Hopital's, we're going to have 3x squared. This is equal to 1. Now, does this help us in some fashion? It does. How so? Let's think about this. So like when x has the value 0, plug it in directly. You're going to have 2 cosine of 2 times 0 plus a. No more x with that one. That's good. Plus 3b times 0 squared. So when you worked with that, this is just cosine of 0, basically, which is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus the remaining a. And then in order for this to be of the form 0 over 0, the numerator 2 plus a has to be equal to 0, doesn't it? Which immediately then nicely tells us that a has to be negative 2. Therefore, in other words, we have found the value of a. So we can have the limit as x approaches 0. And then here we'll have 2 cosine 2x minus 2 now plus 3bx squared over 3x squared. And now it would be the case that if you try to do it, you would have 0 over 0, okay? We have to just find a value to put here. Now, because it would be 0 over 0, we're going to do the limit as x approaches 0. And then just differentiate in numerator the denominator. So it's going to be from the first one, negative 4. And let's see here, sine of 2x by the chain rule. So cosine differentiates to negative sine. Bring the 2 out to multiply to the 2 on the outside to get a negative 4. The constant goes away, and then you have left over there a 6bx, this way over 6x. Now, what happens in this case if you plug in 0? If you plug in 0, you will have 0 over 0. Again, you can check it. Sine of 2 times 0 is sine of 0, which is 0, times negative 4 is 0. When x is 0, then 6bx becomes 0. In the bottom, it's 6 times 0. It's still 0. In other words, we have 0 over 0, that form. Okay, so then we can differentiate again. The limit as x approaches positive infinity of negative 4 sine 2x plus 6b. Okay, let's differentiate this one. So it's going to be negative 8 and then just change that to cosine like this of 2x this way. All right, so that should give us negative 8 cosine 2x plus 6b over just 6. Now what happens in this case, if you plug in directly, we don't have to worry about division by 0 anymore. Now remember over here at the very end, we said we wanted to have a value of 1 as the value of the left side. So that means, in other words, this has to be equal to 1. But now we can do direct sub. You're going to have negative 8 cosine of 2 times 0 plus 6b. And this will give us uh, basically a linear equation in b. You see, over 6 is equal to 1. Now you can solve this for b directly. So it's going to be negative 8 times cosine of 2 times 0, which is cosine of 0, which is 1, of course, plus 6b. This whole thing here over 6 equals 1. It's going to be negative 8 plus 6b is equal to 1 times 6, which is 6. Add 8 to both sides, so 6b is equal to 14. Divide by 6 on both sides, so you have 14 over 6. Divide 2 away, so it's going to be 7 over 3, and that's the value of b. In other words, by using a combination of L'Hopital, as you see here, and direct substitution to check and such, you can get the values of a and b. I thought this was a pretty nice limit question. Okay, here's an attempt to show all the work from top to bottom. Please be sure to leave a like if you like more advanced math videos like this one.